All right, you too, it's your boy Young Link Jr. So Colin Kaepernick, man, he's looking really good. As you can see, he had this private workout session, okay? And his facility, he was supposed to be working out at Atlanta facility, but they actually been postponed and moved to somewhere else in Riverdale, Georgia, at least 60 miles away from the stadium. And it's pretty much a high school. Now, looking at it, some people want to say it may be unprofessional, but to me personally, I might listen. It's just a workout. They said Chicago Bears coaches was there. 24 NFL teams are really interested in Colin Kaepernick for him to actually have a chance now and get back into the NFL. But with this, it was just a series of him just going and throwing like deep routes uh, to his boys or whatever, um, doing some really quick wide receiver screens, doing slants. And for the most part, man, he was accurate. I mean, he has a good arm, still looking good in shape, running routes, doing good. I mean, hey, the feet work is good. And I'm like, hey, man, you know, if you want to play for, like, teams that need quarterbacks like the Cincinnati Bengals, man, the Miami Dolphins, the Buffalo Bills, Los Angeles Chargers, someone that, you know, wants to start uh, a new franchise, a, a new era, I believe Colin Kaepernick may be uh, a potential candidate. Now, don't get me wrong, I have some mixed feelings of what he did back in 2016. Yes, he was kneeling. Uh, now for the flag or whatever and to stand up for what he believed in people believe that okay well you're just going to eliminate him and destroy his career because he's standing up for the righteous and justice of african americans and how they've been treated in america due to poor you know just law enforcement and how they're just like a very authoritative to the point that the citizens and african american people are feeling inferior in america and it's just many um many different reasons as well why he decided to do an ad and people believe that he actually made a lot of money from nike I, he did to an uh, nike he did lose some sponsorships because of the kneeling and we all understand how he he um i just want to say he really offended some people back in the miami dolphins you know with the whole pigs wearing cuban socks and he was just creating a, a, a pretty much people believe he was a cancer i just want to sit up and say that maybe a cancer in the locker room and that really de destroy his chances again back into the nfl but now we move forward to three years right three years and he's working out staying consistent didn't give up and he still has a heart to go into the nfl i believe you just go home give him a chance at the end of the day just give him a chance and see how it goes now if colin kaepernick destroys this opportunity i mean he just have a bad season or whatever and just consecutively then yeah they're probably going to get him out but he's still you know he's still fairly young you know six or four i believe he's like close to his 30s now he can still run i mean he can still he's still that good mobile quarterback at the end of the day, when Harbaugh was uh, coaching for the San Francisco 49ers in 2013, he had a successful season, went into the Super Bowl. You know, he lost it to uh, the Baltimore Ravens before Ray Lewis retired. That was a crazy Super Bowl run, man. But, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, the, this dude, I believe he has a great intelligence to understand the playbook and go on out here and create chemistry with his team. Now, we got to understand, like, yeah, you can throw the bases of the football with no pressure on you. You're, you're a great quarterback. You know, you was in the pros. Now, can you understand, like, the Ross, can you understand, like, okay, who to throw it to when you're under pressure? And that's the biggest thing. So I would love to have him in, like, helmet and all full gear actually do a little scrimmage and see how he does and see how he's done under pressure. Like, nothing too crazy, but to the point, like, you know, you would think this is, like, OTAs. If you do an OTAs training camp type of style way and Colin Cameron is still going out here, you know, he dodging, like, uh, sacks and not throwing any type of interceptions, being flawless on the field, then yes, then, then maybe we can start talking. And just really, they can start taking him serious. But this is, I feel like, I don't think this is a, a publicity stunt. I don't think he's doing this just to get attention. This is the fact that, hey, I still can play. Let, let me get in here and do what I need to do now. I did make a video uh, before, a couple days ago, that maybe Kaepernick, you know, he was signing with Jay-Z and how they arranged this um, private facility for him to go out here and work out. He's just doing this because, you know, Jay-Z blackballed him. He's losing money, whatever. Um, people are not really taking him serious at this point. And he just need he just needs some type of funds, man. You know, it's... But I don't know, man. I don't think he's really sounding us out at, at the end of the day, man. As African-Americans, we got to kind of lead ourselves. Shouts out to O'Shea Duke Jackson. He said that in his video. Like, we have to lead ourselves. Like, we do talk about Dr. Lamar Johnson. We look up to, like, people, Marcus Garvey, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X of the world. And that's cool and all. But you can learn from what they did back in the day and just implement the new style and how we can 
improve in today's society. That's the biggest thing to me personally. I mean, we have to continuously lead ourselves and the best, best way to do this is doing that by example. I remember I made a video a while back about the color Prescott when he was in, I think it was a couple seasons ago and he got, he got, he was all under the table for the most part, man. I mean, when he was defending Jerry Jones, like he didn't really have any type of indifference or opinions about Colin Kaepernick standing up for the flag and everything. I mean, he, that's just not his job. He don't want to be a political activist. He just wants to go in and understand his playbook and go back to work and be successful with the Dallas Cowboys. And that's okay with that. And then I'm okay with that because even though he is a quote unquote celebrity and may have like huge influence, yeah, you're supposed to go out here and you know stand up for the people. But at the same time, man, you know, what about us regular folks? We still got the power too. All because someone has money and prestige doesn't mean that they're better than us. Yeah, they might have a little bit more connections, but it, we will stand out more because even though the lack of funds that we may have, well, you still continuously to see you know, progression and you're just doing like just little things in your communities, just mentoring kids, helping kids, um, feeding them, um, ministering to them, just anything, uh, paying for their boxing lessons. I mean, teaching them how to garden, teaching them how to plant their own food, be sovereign. Those are the essential things that we need as a people and the community to move forward. And economically, it can start turning over, you know, for the most part, because if you think about it, like the Jews, they spend their money within themselves and in their own community. I mean, it takes at least about maybe 60 days for the money just to leave out of their community into someone else's hands. And, you know, we just have to get back into the basics, man. You know, we live in a consumerism uh, society and... I don't know how true this is with Dr. Boyce Watkins saying that, oh, well, African-Americans, uh, our net worth is going to be, what, the, about 2050, zero dollars. I don't know how true that is, but, I mean, we do have a 1.3 trillion spending power, say that in the many videos, and we can reverse that, man. You know, we, we have so much talent here, but it's just up to, like, the Generation X and the woman generation and, and our generation, millennials and the Z generation, we just got to put ideas together to set things aside and just continue to have a goal and a vision and just help each other out through our experiences instead of just pointing the fingers that oh you're lazy or oh, you're crazy you're stupid this is why all these mass shootings happen and that can come i'm not trying to go all like all over the place but i'm just saying for the most part we just can't really just blame like people that we look up to that's not doing anything for in our community we have to do it for ourselves because we live in it right so um, I just had a, a huge discussion with that with BMT about this, man. But for the most part, I think what Colin Kaepernick is doing, I mean, I, I disagree with some things that he did. I just didn't like how he did it from, from, you know, just using the NFL as a platform to, you know, just really be upset about this. Like, hey, oh, well, you know, you're racist. And you can maybe have some racist owners. That's true. But, you know, we it's so many millionaires and opportunities that, that black people had the opportunity to get into the NFL and made it something out of themselves. But... Are they gonna are they gonna use their money to invest back into the community and that's gonna help the other generation moving forward? And that's what we gotta have. Um that's what we gotta have in the future for the most part, man, in order for us to collectively to be successful economically. I mean, according to Dr. Claude Anderson, man, you know, but uh, it's it's uh Black Label White Love. But that was a that was a good that was a good book, but we we we, we, we got this, man, at the end of the day, man. You know, uh, it's white people we have we have a tremendous talent you know and the economy won't run without us at the end of the day they market to us we always mind the latest things we love to be flashy but if we can just put like 10 15 20 dollars into like an investment or some type of stock or invest into a tech company we'll be cool you know and just teaching and homeschooling our kids and removing them from this type of european curriculum and then teaching our own history that's a good start you know, start a homeschooling type of mentoring program for kids to understand, you know, their black history. Because I remember I was in school, we didn't really learn too much about black history. We learned about, like, the European history. And then, you know, as you get older, you should start to, like, okay, well, you know, all the knowledge that you accumulated about European history, and you try to read about black history, you're like, man, you know. And if you don't know where you came from, it's kind of hard to be motivated and understand your full potential. But this is, this is, um... Everything just going back into this, you know, with this whole Kyle Kaepernick thing, I'm just going to be open minded with this as well. That he should have a chance in the NFL. If he doesn't go to the Los Angeles Chargers, that's cool. I would love to get Joe Burrow. You know, Joe Burrow is that dude, man. And then I'm telling you, I was just so impressed 
how he defeated the Alabama man, roll tie. He he defeated him. He defeated Alabama. <laughs> so with LSU and I just think we just need it's a new era, a generation of quarterbacks that needs to be played here in in the next few years, man. But it's definitely in this draft, we're gonna do some a lot of cleaning up. I would love to call on Kaepernick to come to the Los Angeles Chargers, see if we can see see what we can do. Now nah, that's cool too, man. You know, but it, this is this is a good thing. You know, let's just see what he has to do. I'm not saying, if, you know, he got to go in and win Super Bowls, but it would be great to see him back on the field. And I appreciate him doing what he, standing up for what he's doing. Uh, like Michael Mack said, if you stand for nothing, the man who stands for nothing falls for anything. You know, so I really take that highly, man. And um, just always seek intelligence according to Marcus on Garvey. And, you know, that's, that's the basis of being a leader. You may do things that people may not agree with but subconsciously you're doing what your heart says man you know but that's all i really have to say i'm gonna go ahead and close out of here i just want to say um just check out that colin kaepernick private workout it was all on social media i believe a11 she she was filming this live and the dude was accurate he was on pinpoint so i would love to see more i just want more and more i just want to see what he's going to do in the future and maybe he, he goes back to a team in 2020 man because right now um the, half, the season is kind of almost over i mean like six more games left and we just got to see what he's capable of doing man so 2020 if he keeps it up go to otas get signed a contract i don't know jay-z can work with roger goodell on this but this is I think, you know, should go ahead and forgive me if you have any type of negative thoughts about Colin Kaepernick, man. Just kind of put it to the side, man, at the end of the day and just see what he can do. That's all I have to say, man. I'm just opening up for new blood, man. So this is your boy, Young Lean Jr. You guys can continue to like, comment, subscribe. You guys tell me what you guys think, man. Did you guys enjoy the workout? Uh, do you think he needs to, you know, just stay, sit down somewhere? He, he was very offended, offensive about the, you know, kneeling down on the during the national anthem. I want to hear you guys' thoughts, man. Please support and donate to the channel. The cash out, please, at Young Link Jr. Do that. And we're just going to keep it moving, man. I'll take care. God bless.